what's up everybody welcome back to my youtube channel and today as you can see i am reviewing the brand new mouse uh, from asus their rog gladius uh, 3 mouse which is um, actually here on my lap at the moment and uh, yeah we're gonna be checking out how good is this mouse um, that costs around 90 euros which you can pick up uh, through my amazon affiliate link down below in the description uh, but yeah, we're gonna be seeing is it worth to buy, should you look into it or not. So that's what we're gonna check out and in the end I'm gonna leave my final verdict for it as well. So Asus is back with their Gladius mouse series to bring us the third evolution of their gaming mouse. And now it should be launching at a price uh, point of around 90 euros as I said before here. Uh, which is a pretty decent price range where a lot of very good mice are at right now. So is Gladius 3 the next mouse you have to buy? Well, first of all, the design is um, pretty typical uh, of the Gladius lineup, uh, meant mainly for the right hand. It is a bit higher than some mice out there, so a bit uh, better fit for, you know, bigger hands if you ask me. But definitely not a large mouse, uh, just that the height is, you know, higher. Uh, coming in at around 89 grams, it's pretty light, although not the lightest mouse around, it still gets things done super quick if needed. Uh, some extra weight is definitely going to be under the battery and the Gladius 3 is using a 470 milliamp battery here uh, that lasts four days of intense gaming. Uh, the charge up uh, time is very quick and you can still use the mouse via the USB Type-C cable that comes with the mouse. Uh, other stuff uh, I found interesting that uh, comes in the box are the extra Omron uh, switches and a batch of extra mouse pads uh, to switch out uh, whenever you feel like it. A super nice gesture that every mouse company uh, out there should add into the box. Uh, the switches are also super easy to switch out, uh, but definitely not as easy like on the ROG Chakram. And this is where I'd want to start talking about uh, is this mouse worth 90 euros or not. So, I mean, I've been using the ROG Chakram for around um, a year or so and uh, for me, this mouse here is actually the best freaking mouse in the world that I can easily take apart like this, right? And clean them, which is pretty nice if you're doing, you know, really, really long gaming sessions. And uh, I mean, this is my first ever uh, wireless mouse. Uh, you know, being a gamer since, you know, something like 2002 with an actual optical mouse, right? Uh, the biggest leap that actually ever happened to mice, I think, was when I first got my first optical mouse that didn't have a ball underneath. It was pure magic. Uh, so what does the Gladius 3 exactly bring us? Um, I mean, yeah, it's it's not a Rogue Chakram, right? Rogue Ch Chakram is a pretty expensive mouse, although it does come in a core version as well, if I'm not mistaken, but I haven't uh, tried it or seen it uh, myself. Uh, but yeah, this is a little bit cheaper mouse here and definitely you can feel it, it is a little bit cheaper. The first thing that I actually noticed when comparing it to the Chakram is the premium plastic uh, used on the Chakram and the see-through magnetic case uh, that the Chakram uses, right? These are things that are not on the Gladius 3 and it feels a bit boring to handle uh, thanks to this and the 90 euro price range is a very tough selling point already. Uh, the premium rougher plastic uh, on the sides of the Chakram feels superb and the see-through smooth plastic uh, that is on top of the uh, mouse and on the buttons, right? Uh, it, it's hooked up uh, via magnets and looks absolutely phenomenal, right? Uh, super nice to game with it and, you know, when doing long and sweaty sessions, <clears throat> And when doing long and sweaty sessions of, you know, gaming, it is very easy to take the mouse apart in, you know, just around three seconds and clean the entire mouse. These are things that I really, really want to see on all new Asus mice. I mean, there are two holes here which you can screw open and then, you know, magically open the mouse up like this. 
but it definitely doesn't feel as uh, you know premium as the chakram does right and you can't remove the mouse buttons and clean them separately so it, it kind of sucks uh, in that compartment right but uh, there are some other things that make this mouse still a pretty good buy and one of those things is the zero gap mouse buttons uh, as you could see you can't really you know take the mouse buttons apart but the mouse buttons hang just uh, on the mouse switch so uh, when you do hit the mouse button the click is instant while with some other mice out there you might get this small little travel distance that you don't really know this that much but it is something that asus has you know put effort into to distance themselves uh, from the competition where the gladius 3 shines a little bit more is of course in the software side of things asus has done a very nice job and you can tweak the mouse to very precise settings through the rog armory great software another neat little thing is that the usb type c cable that uh, comes with the mouse is uh, branded as rog's paracord it is super soft meaning it's perfect for a mouse cable it doesn't you know uh, you don't feel the cable you know pulling the mouse uh, like you would with some other mice out there it is really really soft basically what they've done is uh, you know i haven't actually cut through the cable but i do feel that uh, they've taken the plastic uh, mouse cord uh, cover removed it and left the cables you know uh, pair inside the you know the fabric uh, lining right so uh, that's pretty much how i think they've done it right and how it feels at least when i you know touch the uh, cable but it is it is really really nice and i do like it and uh, i guess a lot more companies should uh, go this route and of course the cable is not just meant for charging you can actually use the mouse wired up as well so that's pretty neat uh, little thing anyway my final verdict for the rog gladius 3 is going to be on 8 out of 10. I mean, yeah, it's a good mouse and if it weren't for the wireless benefits, I would have given it a 7 out of 10. Uh, the price range at around 90 euros and up is very competitive at the moment and I feel Asus could have improved the mouse much more if they would have added more of this premium plastic that they used on the rock chakram and also they could have you know used a magnetic case instead of um, some screws to you know take the case open and uh, with those things added this could have been a near 10 uh, out of 10 mouse at 90 euro range but without those things it falls a bit short if you can then try this mouse out uh, before you buy but yeah i mean it's definitely not a bad mouse but there could have been a little bit more um, tweaks added to the mouse to make it a little bit better and make it feel more premium in your hand anyway that's gonna be it for my quick little review hope you guys enjoyed it i uh, hope i didn't leave anything too special out uh, if you have any questions leave them down below in the comment section anyway thanks for watching see you guys later ciao for now